A man worth billions of dollars came to Charlotte with big promises, but nearly four years after David Tepper came to town, many of the project and plans he announced have stalled or been canceled. Now WBTV investigative reporter David Hodge is trying to pin Tepper down on why the projects he's pledged to launch in our area aren't happening. I'm thrilled to be here. When David Tepper first moved to Charlotte after buying the Panthers, he was clear he wanted a new stadium with a retractable dome. Now, that's no longer the case. After being here and seeing how gorgeous it is here and how nice it is to come to the stadium and just sit under the sun and enjoy it and just like. It's a relatively minor adjustment, even if it could have a huge impact on the cost of the stadium. But other projects pursued by Tepper Sports and Entertainment that would cost taxpayers on both sides of the state line are missing deadlines and maybe even just dead. This is a watershed moment. The Panthers headquarters and practice facility in Rock Hill is by far the biggest example. But there are more questions about projects announced between Tepper Sports and the city of Charlotte too. To welcome Charlotte to Major League Soccer. Shortly after Charlotte was awarded an MLS franchise at the beginning of 2020, details of negotiations between the city and Tepper started becoming public. The city agreed to commit $110 million to the MLS project, with some of it going to the Eastland Mall site that would include the MLS team headquarters. Tepper Sports will be that anchor. But by October of 2020, Economic Development Director Tracy Dodson said the plan was already morphing and the MLS team headquarters was no longer part of that plan. Now what we're looking at is the Charlotte FC Elite Academy headquarters with training and tournaments and camps there. The $110 million deal was now just $35 million, and there was a new plan for an uptown entertainment district surrounding the stadium to attract people year round. The vision for the uptown district would be completed in 2021 with the further more in-depth analysis for a long-term play for the stadium to follow in 2022. Neither of those plans have been revealed yet. During a news conference with Tepper last week, I tried to ask him about the Eastland and Uptown projects. Do you have any other plans for Eastland as it stands right now? Well, today we're going to talk about football. Okay, that's what this is. And, and I tell you what, I'm going to I'll make you a promise that sometime in the near future, I don't know when that near future will be, we'll talk about soccer. Any updates on what you're hoping for the development of that district? When we talk about soccer? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll talk about entertainment then too. Are those things not kind of round up together though? Soccer, football, it's all part of a big project, is it not? No, it is. But given that uh, I thought people would want to, I want to focus on football war and the verge of the draft here. I'm happy to have those conversations, but I'd rather do them at another time. Dodson, the city's economic development director, would not answer our questions either, with the city issuing a statement instead, saying, quote, the relationship between the city and Tepper Sports and Entertainment is active and strong. The city and Tepper Sports have ongoing and regular discussions about various projects, such as Charlotte FC and Eastland. But as it stands now, the city has not dispersed any of the money related to MLS or stadium upgrades, and there's not even a signed agreement between the two parties. If you hear all this and you're worried about the future of the Panthers in Charlotte, I do have some potentially good news. During his news conference, David Tepper said they're currently conducting a feasibility study on Bank of America Stadium. And a source tells me that could keep the Panthers in Uptown for several more decades, and it would open them up to doing some renovations for the stadium. And Jamie, there's just so much more to talk yeah. about on that. So I will join you at 730 for On Your Side tonight. There is always more to talk about. Absolutely. Questions to be asked. David, we'll see you then. Thank you.